Oxygen is a smart investment and is essential for saving lives for all emergency medical conditions. Uh, the right investment now will help in the future, not only for COVID-19 treatment, but also all the diseases that warrant the use of supplemental oxygen therapy, such as pneumonia. Today, we would like to talk about the new project that WHO and Minister of Health implemented in Dusumarab, especially Hanana Hospital which is a big maternity hospital in Dusumarab, which has contributed really a lot in health service delivery in, in Galmadup. This project was a pilot project implemented by WHO with the support of the Ministry of Health at all levels, the federal and state level. The project is uh, solar power oxygen that's fixed in three areas at the hospital, which is the maternity department, pediatric department and emergency department so these three uh, area has now three units of solar power oxygen that's working for 24 hours by seven availability of the medical oxygen is critical in saving lives in any kind of medical emergencies this covid 19 pandemic has taught us how important it is to ensure that the medical oxygens are available for the healthcare workers in treating patients with COVID-19 and also the patients with respiratory diseases. Unfortunately, what we have observed globally, there is a critical shortage of medical oxygen. And this is also the case in Somalia, in Galmuduk state of Somalia. World Health Organization, WHO, with support of GCC, has installed three units in solar power oxygen in this hospital, Hanan Hospital, which is now functioning 24 hours. And uh, so far, this oxygen, this solar power oxygen, consists of oxygen concentrated connected to battery bank and solar banners. So far, more than eight patients were, uh, were with hypoxemia were managed and immediate improvement was documented. Which, with the discussions and the observations we have made at the hospital and the discussions with the hospital board and director of the hospital, has said that the maternal mortality rates was high at the hospital level because of the interruptions of the electricity, which was on and off before the solar implementation and solar installation at the hospital by WHO. Since the beginning of the outbreak, as WHO Somalia, we did a nationwide assessment of the medical oxygen availability and we have identified some part of the country has less access to medical oxygen than the other parts and most of them are very critical in nature. And this specific hospital, Hanano Hospital, which is a referral hospital for maternal and children and also for the new nets, they had no medical oxygen available for the treatment of those life-saving conditions. And in a low middle income countries or in the lower income countries, what we have identified, there might be some health facilities with availability of medical oxygen generator, but most of the time they don't have power. If you have power, you don't have the medical oxygen concentrator. So coupling these two facilities together, I think this is a challenge and this is what we took in this Hanano hospital, that where we tried to innovate and where we tried to harvest the solar energy and to ensure that 24 hours availability of medical oxygen for the treatment of the new nets, for the children with pneumonia, for the mom who is giving birth to the newborn, and also treating the patients with COVID-19 and respiratory diseases. So we would like to uh, encourage and emphasize the importance of this project, solar power oxygen at hospitals. Hanano Hospital will not be the only hospital that need this service. We need a lot to be implemented at, at different districts, at different needs. In uh, Mudu, the other area of the Galgudud, the district that, need, that has some hospitals and serves the maternity and emergency and pediatric. So oxygen is a smart investment. If we invest now, it will build the foundation for a healthier future and a healthier Somalia in future. What we are trying to do here 
is not only ensuring the oxygen availability at the hospital or the health facilities, but we are also looking at the local ownership because this is the key for the sustainability. If there is local ownership, this project and this specific approach is going to last longer in Somalia and it's going to contribute further beyond our imagination. And this is also the message to all of our partners and donors and other UN agencies that we have to focus on sustainability, we have to ensure inclusion of the local population in project designing and we also have to ensure that any project that we are bringing in saving lives, it is self-sustainable and it doesn't become donor dependent and doesn't discontinue after a couple of months or years. We have to leave our legacy behind, we have to build the health system so that this health system can treat the patient beyond this COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> kadna ee fiicanta istiina lagu xiray dhawaatid ee xanaano keenay ku ee fiicanta aaneeda ee qaadanaysa ku ee roontaa istiima lagu xiray ee fiicanta atiid oo maad ilaa ee afmad siid